Speaking during the unveiling of an icon solar water desalination system at its Al Rida Center, Bilal Muslim Mission of Kenya Chief Executive Officer Murtaza Jaffa said they are committed to supporting initiatives that enhance the livelihoods of various grassroots communities. So it's a question of building up the community around you uh, and training the youth. There's so much unemployment. Uh, a lot of kids are falling out of school. So we want to start a high technology school here where kids come out uh, with certification in solar energy, in wind energy. The water desalination plant is linked to agricultural demonstration farms using drip irrigation and other modern technologies. The project has also been supported by the Borea Light and the Irene Friedrich Vowek Foundation. The hygiene drinking water, that you should pay for it, something about 400 shillings if you go to many of these chain markets here, in Mombasa, in Nairobi, wherever, here we are selling it at 20 shillings. The highest hygiene drinking water for people, and it's not just for the production of the water. We are here, we are delivering water by electromobility. It's an electric, mo electric cargo bike delivering up to 200 liters of water to a distance, to the maximum distance of uh, 50 to 70 kilometers. Residents in Mtongwe have lauded the initiative, saying it will bring to an end uncertainties over safety of water and minimize exposure to health complications caused by salty water. <laughs> Wengine wakitumia maji haya wakifika nyumbani wanasema matumbo yanauma kwa sababu maji yalikuwa yako chumvi. Kwa sasa hii tuwashukuru kwa kupatoa mradi na pia tutajiendeleza kwa sababu tutaungana kwa magroup na tutaanza biashara ya kuzaa maji fresh. Local communities in Mtongwe will also be trained on best farming practices for economic and social stability. Mark Julian Peggy for Channel One News.